In this episode of Born to Tune, Hi Benny, I want to be like you when I'm an adult, but my mom wants me to be a doctor, she's too afraid I'll make cars explode. Hi Benny, thanks for all your useful suggestions. Yesterday I even increased the number of rotations of the blender we use at home every day. Benny, I've been following you for a while now. Your modifications are fake. The last tool you used to measure performance improvements, you believed was a bottle opener. Hi, Tuners. Benny never stops to amaze us. His workshop is getting bigger and bigger. But there's something is not right. What's wrong? Ah, okay, I understand now. We're talking about dynamometers today. But let's make things clear. Come with me, Benny. Generally, dynamometers are an essential tool in the automotive sector. They are used to measure the vehicle performance or do quality controls. They are used to assess the engine power in a control space by reproducing several driving situations without the need to test it in the street. So the dyno is a tool that applies torque to the axle of the tested vehicle. It, they can be different kinds, from mechanical to hydraulic to eddy current brakes. The force generated by the braking action of the brake is counted by an equal and opposite force, measured by a load cell and then transformed into useful information, such as horsepower, torque, dissipated power and others. Dynamometer usually are composed of a stand that generally takes the whole room. A series of rollers that can be connected or not to a brake, depending on the fact that if the dyno is inertial or braked. Moreover, the number of rollers for a single wheel can be single or double. In the classic dynamometers, the testing room is built around the device. To make room for the stand, vents, ramp and vehicle anchorage. So there's a series of steps that have to be followed during the testing in the classic way. They may have an impact on the results. So you have to place the vehicle, anchor it, align it in order for the wheels to be perfectly placed on the rollers. Load and resistance are all important steps to obtain a useful result for the user. During the testing, the measurement system detects several physical values such as torque, power, wheel speed, vehicle speed. These data are collected in real time and can be visualized and saved for further analysis. Moreover, Dyno also allows to simulate different driving conditions, such as constant speed, acceleration, deceleration and standardized driving cycles. These values can be also discovered with other tools and Benny is about to find one in particular. I mean, he was sitting on it. Captain, I can see you fell in love with the dyno. So the concept is revolutionary. You don't need to dye a dedicated dyno room anymore. The connection to the car is safe and the measurement is error free. Okay, here we have it, Cupra Leon. It's a beautiful 2.0 TFSI engine. Stock is uh, 245 horsepower, but I'm sure Benny did some magic to it. Did you?
Okay, Benny, you can stop the time. So as you can see, coupling the hub is really fast. You just choose the flange in the right center ring and you're ready to go. But Benny, you forgot to put on the other side. So, once the Dynamag hub is connected to the car, we are ready to start the testing. The Dyno. Oh, okay, that's good. Right. So some of the modern vehicles need to be set in dyno mode before the testing to switch off some of the electronic system that might compromise the measurement. But the Leon Cupra is not one of them. For this car, it is sufficient to make some of the adjustments in the vehicle, where in other cases, a dedicated tool has to be connected by OBD. Wow, that was a lot horsepower more for a stage one. So the test uh, was safe, fast and accurate. Thanks to Dynamac, congratulations, good job Benny. So tuners, there's no need to have a dedicated room for the dyno anymore. And that's a big change. If you'd like to have some more information, you can find it in the description below. And as always, if you like the video, don't hesitate to activate the bell for notification and see you on the next one on board to tuners.